The story of Samuel is very interesting and it all starts with his mama. She was unable to have kids, so she prayed to God and God heard her prayer, opened her womb and gave her the baby Samuel. Hannah was so thankful that she dedicated Samuel and his entire life to the work of the Lord. When he was a little boy, she drops him off at the house of Eli so that he could be trained up in the work of God. The problem with Eli and his sons in his household is they would do wicked in the house of the Lord. They would rob, they would take the sacrifices that belonged to God, they would beat up and threaten men, they would take women for themselves. And even though God would speak to Eli and speak to Samuel and tell them that the things they were doing was wrong, Eli would not correct or discipline his sons. Later on, Eli's sons go to battle and the Lord is not with them and they are killed. As a messenger comes back and tells Eli what happened to his sons, Eli falls down and dies. That raises up Samuel to be the next prophet who has had firsthand accounts of what not to do to be a great man of God. And the Bible tells us that Samuel, every prayer, every word, every prophecy that he spoke never fell to the ground, but the Lord fulfilled everything he said. I believe right now that the church is coming out of the age of Eli and the sons, and we're going into the age of Samuel and the school of prophets. Let me know what you think. God's grace be with you. God bless you.